Hello everyone and welcome to another Linux tutorial with JT. Now I know what you're thinking. He went to the dark side. He's become another Windows zombie and installed Windows 7 and made his computer a zombie computer. No, of course not. Obviously, you know that's not the case because you clicked on this video. This is Linux Mint. And I can prove it to you. If I go over here and I do my fancy Neo fetch, you will notice Linux Mint 19.3. This is a Windows 7 theme for Linux Mint. Um, and I noticed it was actually kind of handy because if you're coming from Windows 7, which some of you might still be on, who are still on Windows 7, there's apparently like 30% as, uh, as of this video still on Windows 7 and, and the support happened yesterday. <laughs> um, you're probably looking for an alternative and well, Linux is almost there, I would say. I say another couple of years, and you probably won't be able to tell the difference between this and Windows 7. But there are going to be some issues transitioning over, um, some learning curves. But maybe using this theme, the Windows 7 theme, um, might help you because certain things, like again, Printers, looks like the printer's icon. Synaptic Package Manager and Update Manager look like Update Managers because that's what they're used for, users and groups. All of your places, folders look the same as they did on Windows. Um, this theming is a little bit, I've noticed that the Windows 7 theme is a little bit uh, janky or glitchy. Um, that might be because it's in a VM. Uh, I did switch over to the Vista one, and I noticed that this was a little bit more stable. Um, but we're going to install both of these because we need, we need, as you can see, with the themes I'm using, I'm using the Windows Vista uh, for the, the menus, so, or uh, Windows borders. And uh, we're, so we're going to have to install all of these, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So uh, let me go ahead and shut this guy down. And we'll go ahead and pop into this one. So this is a fresh install of Linux Mint on a VM. And I am going to show you. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go at, to a website, which is the easiest way to get there. Let's just type boomerang into boomerang. boomerang. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> uh, so just B O O M E R. The, the, this is the web URL boomerang.weebly.com. Um, and if we go here, uh, they have this is a group that does a bunch of Linux desktop uh, lookalikes theming, and so these are the um, they have a pretty some pretty popular ones. I'm currently using their Mac OS uh, theme, and uh, I almost. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I wanted to see what it would be like since I switched over to Linux. I was like, wonder what the, you know, be like using the Mac user interface for a while. And uh, I actually rather like it. <laughs> um, but, anyway, we're talking about trying to make this look like Windows 7. So, what you want to do is you come here, you go to the themes, and then you download the Windows Vista theme. Files, click the zip file, a link, and 
save. Then we do the same thing for Windows 7. Download. Link, save file, and then we do the same for, we go to icons, so up here under icons, we go to their icons uh, page, and then we download the Windows 7 icons folder, save file. All right, this is all the files we need to download in order to do our theming. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we need to make sure that in our home directory there are two hidden files. So, we'll go for view, uh, show hidden files, which is control H. And we need a file called, we'll, we'll create a file because they don't exist. Uh, we need a file.icons. And we need to create a new fold, uh, new folder. These are folders, sorry, not files. Well, and that one is called dot themes. So these are the two important files. So in dot themes, um, should have closed Firefox. <laughs> under the files we downloaded. So, the Windows Vista one. This is the, uh, these are theme files. So inside the theme files, you see all these, uh, these uh, cinnamon and then index.theme. So this goes in the theme folder here. Just click and drag uh, the Windows Vista. And then ditto. Just have this open. Okay. I'm not used to using the standard. <laughs> or I think they changed the interface in 19.2 a little bit, so. Um, or 19.3. Um, and then we grab this one, which is also a theme. Got the various drifter. Oh, dot theme? So these, are, these are the two theme files, ones that need to go on the theme. And then to install the icons in dot icons, um, that's the Windows 7 master one we downloaded, which was the uh, icons one. And this one, if you go in here, you'll see that there's an index.themes. This one, you click and drag into dot icons. And that's all we need to do to install the themes we need. So now to enable the themes, we use the themes manager. And so the first thing we want to do is you'll see that now if we come here, Windows Vista 1.0 is installed. So we changed that to Windows Vista 1.0. In the icons, you'll see now Windows 7 Master is installed. So we changed that to Windows 7 Master. Uh, under controls, we change the controls to Windows 7. Now the controls have changed. And then for a desktop environment, we either use the Windows Vista or Windows 7. The Windows Vista one seems a little bit more stable. But we'll go for the Windows 7 because that's what we're uh, using. And then you'll notice that the, uh, the Linux Mint logo is in the way. So in order to change that, you go down here to configure for the, uh, you click on configure for the menu. And then you change this icon. Imagine there's a way to change it to none, but you don't actually want to do that. You just change it to, uh, I think it's, it's whatever the default is. I think it's this one. Yeah, you just change it to the default uh, cinnamon symbolic uh, icon. Are, I think any one of these grayed out ones will work. Yeah, any one of these ones that are black will work. Just change it to one that's not green. And if you change it to the black one, it'll just 
disappear for some reason. Imagine it has to do with alphas. And um, then, I mean, the only thing to add for the added touches here is you can install the default window. I can't spell default. Duck, duck, go get me. Yeah, why not? I just view the image. I'm gonna set as desktop background. And boom. So, now as you can see, we have set it up so that it looks pretty much exactly like Windows 7. I think all of these black bars are caused by um, the fact that I'm running this in a virtual machine. So hopefully you don't have these black bar issues. But uh, this is pretty helpful, I think, for... Um, and that's actually why I was using the, uh, the Windows Vista theme. Is that it doesn't have that issue. Um, so you'll notice that down here, like Synaptic, pa or doesn't have as much, Synaptic Package Manager and Update Manager, as I said, you know, earlier, they're all uh, what you would expect. Graphics, it's actually kind of, uh, wait, GIMP is not installed by default? I guess GIMP is not installed by default. Eh, surprise. Really? Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, that's surprising. You just get a simple drawing tool. All right. Well, it's like it's like paint or something. <laughs> uh, and well, I think that that wraps it up. Um, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope this helps if you were looking to do this. I noticed that all the videos that showed how to do this were kind of old, and. Uh, Hopefully, a, if you're coming from Windows 7, uh, Linux Mint, or any other version of Linux, you can do this on any Linux version of Linux that you uh, install the Cinnamon desktop environment on. Um, works out for you. Um, it might be a little bit early to switch, I would say, from being a former Windows 7 user myself. Um, but it's uh, definitely... Doable. Um, all right, that's it. That's all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one.